Hey everyone, welcome back to Demon's Souls Remake. As you can see, I am back in Latria 1-1 to pick up the Prison of Hope special key. This is the key needed to unlock Sage Frake's cell and honestly I'm wondering how the fuck I missed this because I, I know that this is here and I was here because this is where you kill the dude. You know which dude I'm talking about, that dude. So I oh fuck okay, well that didn't I didn't know that killed. Whoops, my bad. Ah, uh, it probably doesn't kill if you land on the thingy. What's the world tendency here? It's still not terrible. It's okay. So yeah, that was not the greatest start to this episode. I mean, that's two K souls. I don't give a shit about that. So we can just move on. Use a stone. Rescue Freak and get moving. Yeah, I did do a little cut at the start of this episode because I didn't want to just make you guys watch me sit through a sprint towards uh, the end of the Latria area. So, yeah, again, we're just gonna quickly um, pull Freak out and get the hell out of here. We still have to finish this area. That's. Thing number one to do with the final boss, and after that I'm probably gonna. Oh shit! Yeah, I forgot these guys don't stun, do they? Anyways, at this point, like this amount of damage, I can pretty much deal with. I'm just way too strong for these things. But otherwise, the, after that, once I'm done with the old demon king or whatever that's not the old demon king what is his name you know who i'm talking about um we're gonna i don't actually know where we're gonna go this is the place right yes it is hell yeah that is a nice looking ball of magic or whatever We both have bong smoke coming out of us. I think he has the thieves ring, that's why. Well, I'm very happy. Hey, 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 a dash of... Nice. Nice game. We understand. Have we really been reduced to making dad jokes for our trophies? I like it. I appreciate that. So anyways, I could use a Nexus Stone Arch, which is the Homeward Bone equivalent of this game. I'm not gonna, because they're super rare for some reason. Um, but on the other hand, you have it as a miracle, which is really easy to get. Bit of a strange dynamic. But that's okay. Oh, hello there. Is there a treasure? Oh, there's a lot of shankers in this cell. Actually, there might not be. I might have just killed a bunch of innocents. Hey, what can I do? Oh, is that how we play? I haven't seen a backstab in quite a while. This is gonna absolutely brutalize. Yeah. Sucks for you guys. Secret dagger. That, that that one just like doesn't do shit. It's the prison shank. So anyways, we're just gonna get out of here. And get back in here because this is still where we need to go. Actually, you can warp around it between areas now, right? I'm pretty sure you can... There it is. Yes, you can. Okay, that is a lot more convenient. That is way more convenient. So anyways, if I didn't say the intro, welcome back everyone to Demon's Souls. Yeah, I did say the intro. And let's just ascend. Oh, nice. Cutscene. Yeah, you do have a cutscene here. 
This dude is gonna look crusty as fuck here in the remake. His cloth physics looks way better. Yeah, crusty. And he has the crown of thorns. He picked up blood of the martyr from Binding of Isaac. If you don't know, but I'll explain. This is supposed to be a PvP fight, but I'm offline because... Uh, from what's been said to me on the down low, nobody really plays PvP in this game anymore. It unfortunately died very quickly. Yeah, that dude does not look healthy, let me tell you that. Red Phantoms do look cool. It's not even the main obstacle here. Um, the main obstacle is getting up the stairs. Really. And not because of these guys. So yeah, again, this, is work, it, this works like the Mirror Knight boss fight or whatever. Or the... Church... Whatever dude. These guys have a lot of HP. Oh, fuck. Yeah, as I said, uh, getting up these fucking stairs is uh, more difficult than the actual boss fight. Because there really is no way to get past these enemies. You gotta, like, put in the work. You gotta put in the work to kill them. And there's, like, two of them in the way. Fuck! They're like surprisingly quick with their attacks. So yeah, just be careful. It's one of the issues actually with this um, boss fight that you get summoned... Motherfucker! Is that you get summoned in and the dude you're supposed to be fighting uh, dies coming up the stairs. Uh, which is actually a fairly common occurrence. Which is good because you get your stuff. Either way. Like you get the treasure. Without issues. It's just a little bit disappointing. And these guys do give a shit ton of souls. And I think there is one more unfortunately. So yeah, that's again, that's one of the common occurrences. And of course, you could encounter a troll. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> How did that hit? Please forget. Please forget. Yes, you're dumb. Thank fuck for that. The one time your AI decided to crap out, it worked out in my favor. That hit box, so... Just gotta get far enough down the stairs. Just please turn around. Couldn't go for a backstab, but that's okay. Man, your your AI is having a field. Fine, I'll take it. I, I don't I don't mind at all. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't mind at all. Give me a free victory. So yeah, let's PvP this bitch up. Old Monk, that's his name. So this is the default invader. He has the claws. Um, Some like bitch ass armor. And that's about it. Dual claws. Like real lame. Oh yeah, he's gonna like get these little magic orbs. He's a cheater. But that's about it. I mean, I'm like... My armor must be really good because... The 
parry isn't working out though. Okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> how how about we we stop trying? Um, I feel like I made a. Oh, he does have magic. I remembered him having magic. I don't use it often. So yeah, I mean this guy's kind of lame. Come on, give me the parry. Give me the backstab at least. Yes, what a finish. You, he's not dead. I really thought I had it. Oh, come on. Come on, game. Okay, fuck it. Anticlimactic end. But that's about it. How do you gesture in this game? I don't remember. Whatever. That was the old monk. Again, th this, this is a variable, this boss fight. You could have some asshole or someone really good. PvP, like a really good PvP -er. Uh The throne room of Yormadar. Holy shit. His revenge complete, the old man withered away, driven to madness by the golden robes that controlled his body. Now too frail to serve as a vessel, he was fully absorbed by the demon's soul. I really like these lore tidbits you get. It's super cool. And it just flashes out this area a lot more. Which, you know, Demon Souls' world was not the most fleshed out uh, in the world. So that's really cool. Cool. Let's stock up. Naisu, Naisu, Naisu. And we have more PvPing to do. Not PvPing, but more. NPC hunting to do. Let's let's just put it that way. Cause there's a little goofball up here who is killing my NPC friends. What am, what am I missing? Oh yeah, I'm still missing the exact same things. There's a thing about this game. Uh, if you don't really go for farming, like the amount of upgrade materials you acquire starts to dramatically drop because this game basically only has one area in it where um, items like the regular upgrade materials get dropped and just you know it don't work out too well but that's pretty much always been a case you know the upgrade system is probably the most criticized aspect of this game Anyways, I'm gonna like spoil the surprise. Your uh, Yurt is evil. Um, if that wasn't a surprise, and he starts murderously murdering NPCs around here. If you don't kill him, <coughs> it does allow you to later on join him, and it unlocks the assassination quest line. But it's it's not really my thing. Although I wouldn't mind this guy being assassinated. So yeah, you can be a kind of a dick and join the evil side. And then it's like, oh shit. I can't use any of these, can I? Familiar's prank. Cloak, poison cloud. Po these are not new, none of these are new. Death cloud. I like the little, listen, we'll, we'll, we'll get around to this, we'll, we'll get around to a magic build. You don't even have to worry, we, you, you'll see what magic is like in this game. Because it's quite something. Magic is quite something in this game. And that's putting it lightly. Cool, let's do this. Sorry, Yurt. Come 
Come on. Fast fucker too. Oh, come on. Seriously? Is this AI crapped out as well? There's no way I'm gonna be able to parry this fool. He is mad fast. Come on. Please backstab him. Yes. Eat shit, bitch. Mephistopheles, yeah. Like the obviously non-evil name. This is a cool ass set though. Uh, gloom armor. You get his set. Unfortunately, as I've talked about a couple of times, heavy armor, unless you have like a shit ton of equip burden, is a little bit pointless in this game because poise doesn't exist. And when poise doesn't exist, uh, what the fuck is the point of wearing heavy armor? You ju you're just like fat roll. And the gloom armor is very, very, very heavy. So, a bit of a shame. Kind of a, yeah, one of the things about this game is that heavy builds are, are pure heavy builds, like great shield, heavy armor, all that are basically useless. Nice. This is the real meaty area of Boletaria. These guys, I don't like their redesign, seriously. They just look too gross. Um, the old fat officials just looked weird. And just kind of like... It, they really did look like a demon trying to be human. Like, he's like really trying to look the part. And these guys are just ugly as hell. But this area is not ugly as hell, that's for sure. Boletaria 3-3. Three, three. What else but dogs? It's always dogs. Anyways. This area is good. You can, like, really juice up your healing items here. And what the hell? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. If it's healing items, you like you have the limit, so it gets sent to storage. I'm not overburdened actually. No, oh, and this place is cool. Yeah, obviously non ominous. Holy shit, that looks good. Holy shit, that looked really good. Did you see how it was rolling down the stairs? Man. The gra this game's graphics are crazy. Seriously, if this is the future, I'm down for this. I know I'm like dick sucking this game over graphics, which... That is not at all the most important thing. I mean, you, you can have a game made up of pixels that can be excellent. And a triple A game, which I can list a couple, which can be really shitty. But when a game looks good and it's not shitty, that's a really good combo. It's the wombo combo. Yeah, boy. So yeah, we're back to fighting humans here. Back to old times. Come on. Oh fuck. Okay. <laughs> never never mind. I'm gonna because I haven't parried in so long. Come on. Okay, fuck you. Well, that's gonna have to wait a little bit. Parrying. What is that? There it is. That's, wh that's what I wanna see. That's what you guys wanna see. I 
I'm really happy. I gotta say, I'm really happy with my weapon choice here. Uh, there was a point in the game where I was like, is is this really the right choice? It kind of seemed... Oh, shit. It's like a little stumpy weapon, you know. It doesn't... It doesn't have a lot of range, but the moveset is just perfect. Because... These, these, like, these areas are annoying, to say the least, because a lot of the weapons constantly get, like, stuck on the walls, and this just doesn't do that. Yeah, I thought I remembered correctly. Yeah, this just doesn't do that. And then you can just two-hand it, which has an even, like, doinker moveset. So, yeah. Pretty good. Plus, you know, intention from the start was to go for a weapon I've not used before. And this is not something I've used. It's always like, do you really want to cosplay as a, I don't know, Russian miner? What the shit? <laughs> cool. Hitbox is... Yeah, that was an interesting hitbox to say the least. Stealth. Oh, they renamed this. W w this was called something else. It wasn't called stealth throwing, stealth throwing dagger. It's a mouthful to say too. Where you at, bitch? Oh, there you are. I thought one of these assassins dropped behind you, which does happen in one of these areas. Okay. This parry ain't gonna work, I already know. It did work! Nice! Well, I'm very impressed. You know about souls and parrying on the staircase. Always been a bit of a problem. Yeah, it's just they see they trick you. It's just draggling shield. I don't even know what the hell this thing is useful used for. I think it does bleed, maybe. <gasps> I parried him. I got the parry, and it didn't work for some reason. I was I was out of stamina or something. Actually, it's smart to go to the other side and kill the crossbow dudes so you can fight these enemies in peace. There is something up in that tower. Okay. What the shit? Do you see how much... Okay, how about we don't fuck around with that? What the shit was that? Does this guy have a new move set? That's not what he used to do. Or maybe I'm just misremembering it. Holy shit. I don't remember this guy being this aggressive. Or this fast. You can see we're getting to the point of the game where... Uh, Late moon grass ain't I mean half moon grass ain't always cutting it. What did so much damage? I know half of my sentences in this entire episode has been what's dealing so much damage to me. But some of this is surprising. Alright, fatso. Okay, that one fell off. Fuck him. Okay, take cover. Luckily the fat officials do not move. Because they're fat, get it? Heal up. Come on, let me just try this. This is unimpressive to say the least. Oh, they do move now. I thought these guys basically stayed in place. Eh, doesn't matter. He's fat and he's dead.
iron keyring. That's the one that's that unlocks the cell, right, in the previous area. I'm pretty sure it does. Or it unlocks the one at the start of the area. I don't I'm not sure. So like I said at the start, we're, we still look okay in terms of damage dealt. Oh man, this looks so good. Although I would prefer to have a plus 8 weapon. So maybe I'll go farming for... The chunk is really what I need. Okay, I'm gonna get stun locked to death here. I'm not careful. Ah, oh, they die in two hits. I was gonna say, let me just get him down to low HP and I can finish him with his own dagger. That didn't work. It didn't work. Oh well. So now we can go back and get into that tower. Clear. They dropped clear stone? Interesting. Not the place I would go to source my clear stone, but hey, if they drop it, I'll get it. You see that spacing? I play fighting games. That's that fighting game spacing. Um, what the shit? Oh, okay, I'm stupid. Classic trick, block the stairs with furniture. That's some Home Alone stuff. That's the tactic they're using. Oh yeah, this guy is here. Great sword. <laughs> Kind of a pain in the ass to get. Mm, let's see. Boy, you don't sell jack shit. Night shield. Ah, I guess let's stock up. They really do get overburdened. Probably because I've picked up, so I've used my healing items, but I've picked up other stuff in the meantime. That could be what's causing me to be overburdened. We'll survive though. Not sure if I have time to finish this entire area. Probably not. Uh, I can't go for like a 50 minute episode today. It's before lunch time boys. Like, you gotta eat. You gotta eat. Man, the aesthetics. Is that like Boletaria has a different feel to it? Always oh, had kind of a, like a weird atmosphere in the old game. Weird as in not in a like an unsettling way. Weird, just weird. Come on. Let me parry you. Thank you. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted to be happy, is a parry. I'm just gonna take a second. And that's where the Tower Knight is. Because of the increased draw distance, it's a lot... Yeah, you can see even... Holy shit, you can see the bridge. I think you could see that in the old game as well. It was just really low poly. I'm not even sure it's possible to uh, stun lock this guy. Wow. <laughs> Maybe I don't need that plus eight weapon. Hmm. 
feel like maybe that would be just overkill. These poor assholes would be just demolished. And by the way, I didn't even mention this, that this is the penultimate area of the game. So we finished everything else. It means I should start popping them consumable souls. I always, I know you guys, when I used to stream, people were always frustrated at me because I don't use my souls. And I don't know why. I guess it's like the Final Fantasy Elixir or Mega Elixir effect. It's like, well, what if I need it in a pinch to like repair or upgrade something and I've used up all my consumables and that just like never comes. You know, it's like, I'm going to save this Mega Elixir for a real emergency and you don't even use it at the final boss. What the fuck are you doing? Bruh. Get that parkour shit out of here. That's for the YouTube compilation. He straight up just parkoured down here without my permission. Get backstabbed. Isn't Oscar supposed to be here? Or not Oscar, what's his name? Get chained backstab. There's a fucking helicopter over. And it's. Come on. Come on. Cool. Alright, let's do this. So we gotta rescue him once again, of course. Like, what else did you expect? And there are actually some strong enemies here. Nothing for my pickaxe, though. It's just... Come on, one more. No, he has his shield up. If, if I die here... Okay. Don't even think about that. I think he's okay, right? I rescued him. He ain't dead. Official's cap. Oh no, he's, he's still dying. He's still getting killed. Don't worry. I got you, boy. Okay, you can stop swinging now. See, that's, that's the issue with swords in this area. This is the I looks so weird that you can see his eyes. <laughs> it's so weird. He's a dorky as fuck. Oh, the big revelation. Uh, yeah. Clear stone. It gives you pure clear, pure clear stone. He just wanders around here. He doesn't go any further. Uh, yeah, that's the big revelation. That he is the prince of Boletaria. Do with that information what you want. That's pretty cool. It just looks dorky as hell with the fact that you can see his eyes. Not, not exactly his fault. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go down and return to the Nexus. First of all, I have a lot of souls. Second of all, I gotta go get that big lunch because I'm hungry as fuck. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode of Demon Souls Remake right here. Next time. Next episode probably will not be the final one because we still have some loose ends to clear up. But we're getting close. We're getting close. So, as I walk back, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Demon Souls. As always, if you did, like, comment, subscribe, post notifications, do all the usual. Take care, and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.